into that bud, George. Put bloody into that bud? Oh, bloody tell you no. You need to sort this out. There's bits everywhere. You Can you explain to me? Come and look at this. What? What do you think? What? Can you explain to me? Oh, that cup. I remember when I made you that brew. That bloody ages ago. I've been wondering where that mug's gone. And I'm the bloody mug because I made you a brew. One, you didn't even drink it. Two, it's been in here for about three months. <laughs> I forgot about it. Forgot about it? I'll forget about you soon, I'm telling you. Sort that out. Organise it. I'll give you this space and you don't even look after it. Do you even bloody care? What? Do I care about this shed? Yeah, yeah, I, I appreciate the fact you give me somewhere to store things for the work I do for you. Don't you get bloody cheeky now. You do that work because I pay you. I'll give you this. I could use this area. I could do stuff with it. But no, I'll give it you. Now, bloody clean it up. All right, then. I'll clean it up. Sorry. All right, then. Bloody hell, I've been waiting to get that off my chest for three days now. <laughs> How are you, anyway? I'm bloody all right. <laughs> are you sure? You seem a bit stressed. I honest stressed. I'm just... The bloody thing winds me up like that. And I've told you now that's it. I'm done. <laughs> all right, then. How are you, anyway? Me? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Apart from you just shouting at me about a bloody shed. Bloody hell well. You need cleaning then, don't you? I want off shelf, don't you? <laughs> Fair play. Did you get back right then? Well, I'm standing here, aren't I? Bloody cheeky bugger, you know what I meant. Yes, I got back fine. Ah, I did. Oh, you missed us? <laughs> no. No? Bloody hell fire! What have you missed me? No, I honour. Well, it's been bloody bliss. I'm telling you now, bliss. There you go, then. I haven't missed you at all. I, if I could go back now, I would. Well, bloody hell, bugger off, then. Go on, get on with you. <laughs> I can't, you know, George. This is where I make me money. Why? My money. That's not when I've earned it. Bloody hell fire. Anyway, you've got one hell of a busy day today. What do you mean? I'm telling you, I've got a list as long as me arm for you, do. Oh my god, have you done anything? Have you done anything since I've been gone? Well, yeah, I've done enough. But bloody hell, you've been gone three day now. This is third day you've been gone. You've got loads make up for. Oh man. Oh, well, come on then. What do you want me to do? Well, bloody follow me. Right, cows. They need feeding, you need to give them straw bedding. Okay. Pigs need feeding as well, so you're going to have to do that. That tractor over there. What, the John Deere? Oh, that needs to go back today. Okay. Is that it? No. Keeps field. Keeps field? But the old George, have you seen the weather? The ground's frozen. I know, but it won't be frozen later, and you've got plenty of things to do, and you can do this last. All right, then. What is it? He just... Do you think this snow will stop? Well, it's due stop. It's not going to stick this ain't, trust me. Soon enough, that frost will disappear. Ground will be fine. I expect you get that bloody fence out in that field. Do that work for Keith, like we said. And bloody don't break that tractor. All right, then. I won't. I won't. Don't I, I, no, Oh, man, now I'm worried. What are you on about, worried? Well, you're jinxing me. Oh, <laughs> bloody jinxing you. Just don't bloody break it. I've only just had it back. I know, I'll, I'll, my intention is not to break it. So, that's what, I just want to make that clear. If it breaks, it's not on me. Who else is it on? Of course it's bloody on you. You'll be the one driving it. God, pressure's on now, then. Well, that pressure's on. And come here. God, you're bloody grumpy today, aren't you? I aren't grumpy. I just know what, there's so many things we need to do. We need crack off. No, no faffing today. We've got to do it. You say we, but do you mean me? Don't worry about me. I've got a few... Well, there's one job I'm going to do for you. Bloody hell, I'd like to know what that is. Uh, you'll find out. How are the calves? Yeah, they're all sorted. Don't worry about calves. Pigs need feed. Both both of the pig pastures need feed. They're running low. So there's plenty of bags in there. Just easy enough job. Yeah, I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Right, have a look at this. What am I actually looking at? It just looks like a pile of, you know... Uh, well, it is a pile, but that's the problem. Look how bloody big this pile is. Well, I haven't had a chance to shift it, George. I know, but you've got this pile here. You've got another pile out on the, out by the bales. I've been bloody hell. We've got to find a way to shift it soon. 
George, this is not a big problem. Not in comparison to this slurry pit over here. Well, I know I'd, I'd stop looking at that. Stresses me out. George, this is not good. Not good. Look at how full it is. Right, well, that's another thing then, isn't it? We can put a load, just one load, like a thin layer, on them barley fields. So, like I said, add it to the list. Yeah, I think it'll shift it down enough. I just need to find somewhere else after, don't I? I bloody say so. Look at size of it, bloody. I haven't seen it as full since we've been here. I'll get that sorted. I'll get it sorted. Right, is that it then? Well, let me have a look. I've got it bloody written down here. Well, that should do, I think. I hope so. Bloody hell. Give me enough do there. Well, if you start now, you should be done. And actually, when you're done, right, with your chores around the farm, before you even think about Buddy going down Keith's, right, I want to do something and I need your help. And I think it'll work out. Okay, what are you thinking now? Right, well, come over here. We've been bloody talking about that bowl for ages. Oh, we need to get it out, George. I know we do. And that's my task today. So when you're done feeding the cows and giving them some bedding and all that stuff for the pigs, I'll back the trailer up here. I want you bloody help me get that bloody bull in that trailer. <laughs> you sure you don't want to do it? No, you've got bloody no chance. I'm not getting in there with that thing. It's in it that bad. Well, if you're that certain of it, then you can bloody get in there, buddy. I want to get in there. <laughs> all right, then. I can do that. Right, well, what me bloody plan was, I'll go up before you head off to drop that tractor off. I've sorted it out, and I'm dropping that bull off, and I'm, being, I'm picking up another. As I come back, I'll pick you up from the store, and I'll bring you back down here. Yeah, you're right, that'll work out. And then I've got me left back, haven't I? Exactly. So get your jobs done, and then, uh, ah, we'll go do that. All right, then, buddy. Bloody hell, George. You haven't half given me a list of things to do today, have you? Well, I don't moan about it. Get them done. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Put it that way. Well, I know. Hey, is this that fridge? Oh, why, buddy? I haven't talked to you about that, have I? Let's have a look. Bloody hell, George. You've got plenty in there, haven't you? I should do. Got to keep it frozen. What's your plan with this, George? Quickly, before I start. Bloody hell, plan. <sighs> oh, honestly, I think straight away, the first thing I'll say, we bit off more than we can bloody chew. <laughs> you mean more than you can chew? <laughs> How many sausages are you going to get through? I don't know, but I ain't going to get through that many. I've been defeated already. <laughs> bloody told you, didn't I? I told you. I just can't bloody believe how many pigs we've got, Sal. There's still some ready to go. And I've got another delivery coming today of meat, and it's supposed to be double the amount we've already had. You're joking. This freezer's going to be full. I know. So, my plan is, right, I've been thinking about it. I'm going to sell off maybe a bit more to the butchers. The other bit that I keep for myself, I'm going to get the butchers to process into, like, pork chop, sausages, bacon, whatever. And I sell that. I'm going to take your advice... I'm going to put a little stool out and a sign at the top of the drive. And I'm going to put in there, you know, if they want some meat or something, they can knock on the house. And I'll put some eggs in that kind of little stool thing that I put out. All right, and that's not a bad idea. Well, I'm just going to get like a, you know, a small shed. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's a good idea, George. It's exactly what I was thinking. That way, you don't have to faff about with it too much. And, you know, people will knock on. Oh, hey, do you know what I was thinking? All them bloody people that come side. Think how many of them are going to be doing barbecues. They see sausages right down the road from them. They're going to all walk down here and we'll be making a fortune. That is a great point, George. Yeah, I mean, what better place to put fresh meat like that? People camping out for barbecues and all that. I know, bloody hell. So I think we'll get, we'll get rid of it. We'll make some good money from this. And I'll make some good money from the butchers when I take the meat for them. So this is actually going to work out. But the problem is... Our capacity just can't handle it. I've got this freezer, and don't get me wrong, it'll, it'll store a few. But this is going to be full before we've even taken the next pigs to the slaughterhouse. Right, well, we're going to have to shift it quick enough, then. Ah, oh, I know. Oh, one last thing. I've bought a van. 
You've bought a van. Oh, I bought an old van. It's got the uh, refrigerator in it. So when I take this meat to the butchers and I bring back the pork chops and all the processed meat and all that stuff, we've got it, haven't we? I can put it in this freezer, ready to be sold. Oh, yeah, I never even thought of that. Bloody hell, there's lots to this, isn't there? The bloody is. But it's a good starting point, isn't it? Hey, you never know. One day we might be able to get some beef stock in and have some bloody steaks. Oh, God, George, if you do that, I ain't even I'm up for that. I'll bloody buy some steaks off you. Well, there you go, then. I needed a refrigerated van. I mean, how am I going to get it to the butchers? It's all right with them lot dropping it off to me from slaughterhouse. But I've got all this meat in that freezer that needs processing into sausages, pork chop cuts, bacon cuts, everything like that. Now, when I take it the butchers to sell, the, the amount that I'm going to sell to them, I can bring back the other bit, store it in here, and we'll have a section that's processed to sell and the section that still needs to go off to the butchers. Do you know what? I'm actually really proud of how I've sorted this out, and I think you'll be bloody chuffed as well. Uh, well, to be honest, George, I know I say you're faff, but you've sorted this one out. I mean, even with this freezer, you've got a van, putting a store up, you know, sign everything. Bloody hell. It truly is starting to become George's sausages, isn't it? Well, that bloody is. When it's all done, and we've made that first sale, and we've got it all processed, I tell you what, we'll have our own little bloody barbecue. How about that? Yeah, can do, but... How about we just start with, like, a sausage bap? Well, a sausage bap. Because, I mean, it's not really the weather for a barbecue, is it? Well, I know, I know. But when it is, we'll have pork chops, sausages, bacon, eggs, bloody hell, we'll have the lot. Fair play. Right, anyway, bugger off and get some work done. <laughs> right then, I'll start now. Ah, uh, oi, don't forget. Right, give me a nod when you're ready. I'll back that trailer up and bloody clean off that John Deere because it ain't going back like that. Right, and I'll get that done as well. I best start if you want me to get all this done. Well, all right, then, see you in a bit. See you, mate. <sighs> God, it's good to be back to the farm. Look at that stuff he wants me to do crazy. Right, so I think, first thing I'm going to do, let's sort the pigs out actually, that's the first thing. We'll leave this here warming up. Let's go get into the, the load all. And go pick up them big bags. Bloody hell, fire. Non-stop today. He's given me so much to do. I mean, even after all this work on the farm, I think I'll go drop the bloody tractor off, but clean it first. And then head back and I'm straight down to Keith's. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. Remind me, never go away again. <laughs> Seems like George thinks I have to make it up to him every time. Um, I'm trying to think where I put the other f the four, but I'm going to have to go behind here, aren't we? Come on, buddy, play ball, play ball. I know, I know. Oh, don't want to get there, don't want to get there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, you don't want to see him, up. Bloody, I know that, but you ain't going to help, are you? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm guiding you. I'll just stand behind this piece of metal over here. <laughs> yeah, that's predictable. Oh, bloody hell, he's sat down now. Bloody hell, fire. Just be ready to shut the gate. All right, and don't want to spook him. Don't want to spook him. Hey, that might be his girlfriend. Way up, way up. We aren't bringing here, are we? He's getting up. He's getting up. Oh, buddy, help. You're making this worse than it needs to be, George. You're making me bloody nervous. <laughs> Go on, then. Guide him in. No, 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 no. Go on, buddy. Go on. Right, ready, go. Oh, let me just check, mate. Ah, he seems alright. Worry, right, buddy. No worries. Right, I'll uh, I'll meet you at store. Yeah, no worries. I'm just, I've just got to clean the tractor, so it's about time you're done and loaded the, the next bull on. Um, yeah, I'll be waiting for you there. All right, then. See you in a bit. See you, mate. Right, let's get this cleaned off. Bloody George with that bull. Oh my god, he was making me more nervous than I need be. <laughs> he don't rattle pout, does he? He just makes things worse, I'm sure of it. 
Bloody hell, fire. I'll tell you one thing, though. It's going to be a shame to see this go. Definitely. I, I've liked it. It's, it just goes to show what what we could be at, really. But, you know, it's all about cost, isn't it, at the end of the day. I couldn't afford one of these, so I can't expect George for one. And that fence, a brilliant tractor. I mean, when he got that, I was over the moon. But there's just something about driving this. It's like luxury. It really is. It's like you get yourself a uh, Rolls Royce. <laughs> anyway, let's drop her off. Don't want to get too attached, do we? I'm going to bloody miss this tractor. <laughs> I am. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a shame, really. But, hey oh, be all right. Right, so George is waiting for me. Right, bud, jump in. You want me to drive? Ah, oh, you drive. I've had a bloody enough of it now. <laughs> you haven't really done anything. What? Cheeky bugger, I've done loads today. Yeah. Moaned at me and watched me work. Uh, no, that's not true, and you know it. I've just been dropping a ball off and pick another one up. Well, you were bloody faffing about. Faffing about, George. I've done loads already. And I bloody cleaned that tractor. Well, bloody hell, I could have done it better than you. Yeah, I'm sure you could have. Well, you don't get on at me. While you were away, I bloody sorted everything out. <laughs> I know you did, but you had to. You didn't have a choice. Anyway, how did you get on as cameraman? It was all right. I took it seriously. I showed all them YouTube folk of yours. You know, what I get up to. I think people will be quite surprised at what I actually do. Yeah. Ah, but they still all know. All know what? They all know you're faff, George. Uh, no. No, if they know anything, they know you bloody faff. I don't a faff. In fact, they call you the faffer. I saw. <laughs> no, they call it you, George. Well, no, bugger off, they don't it. And if they do, tell them bugger off. Tell them bugger off. Because they know nothing, right? I'm the one bloody doing it every day. So, yeah, they know nothing. <laughs> and they don't really, George. I bloody told you, didn't I? It's you. Anyway, how, how was uh, your new bestie? What are you about, bestie? Yeah, what, what's wrong with you today? I don't know what you're on about. I'm on about Ross. Bloody Ross, he ain't my bloody bestie. Bugger that, he went to the pub with me, right? He just fixed me bloody tractor. I'm going to tell him no, am I? And I got a bloody pie out of it, so... Really? Made sense? <laughs> I think he's your best friend, George. Bloody best... I, I swear down. You know what, you... You really are a bloody wind-up merchant, aren't you? <laughs> well, it's true, you and him are best friends. I are a bloody best friends with Ross, right? Not bloody saying it. No, no, it's true. It's in a true. I don't know, George. It seems like you're best friends. I are best friends with Ross. He's a reet, at best. At best, he's a reet. That's about it. Well... <laughs> I think you're best friends with him. You're a bloody bugger, you are, aren't you? You're doing this while I'm young. I am, I'm just saying what I think I see. Concentrate on bloody reversing. You, you're absolutely useless at driving, you are. <laughs> I've missed... I have to say, I've missed this. Oh, you've missed it, haven't you? You've missed winding me up. No, just missed you moaning at everything. I'm maybe winding you up a little bit, like, obviously. <laughs> well, bloody hell. Gets us through the day, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Right, let's have a look at this bully. Ah, oh, look at this bloody bad boy. I'm telling you now, he's massive. Are you going to guide it out? I on it, it's your job. You guide him out. His name's Bruce. Bruce? You named the bull? I didn't name the bull. That's the name of the bull. It said his name was Bruce, so... Call him Bruce, I guess. <laughs> All right, then. Bloody hell, call him Bruce.
Bloody hell, George, he is a big lad. Oh, well, what do you know he is? He's massive. He is, mate. Is he is he friendly? Well, I don't know, you have to ask him. I don't want to bloody asking him that. He's a bloody bull. What do you think? He looks a bit... He do not look happy. I'm coming out. I can't be bothered with that. Well, <laughs> probably best, mate. Don't want to wind up, Brucey. <laughs> Fair play. Right, that's everything, isn't it? Well, everything on the farm. Apart from all the muck and all the slurry. I'm going to be able to do that today, George. It's either one or the other. What do you want me to go do? Do you want me to go do the field for Keith, or do you want me to do some muck spreading? Well, go on, go sort Keith out. You said you would. All right, then. How did you get on with the feed? We need some more pig food. Who do we? Ah, I've just used fair whack. They were... Yeah, they needed topping up, put it that way. And uh, I used the, the silage bales out the back for the feed mix for the cows. So we taking a good chunk of them out of the way, and we're definitely running low on hay. Woody, old fire, you got any good news? <laughs> good news? We've got plenty left in the bunker. I know, but we're taking a dent out of that as well. Well, I mean, what are we getting to? We're nearly in February, so we're doing all right. It's just the hay that I'm worried about, really. I mean, you can always get pig food delivered, can't you? Well, if we need to, we might have to try and find a bit of hay. Well, you can always ask Keith. We did plenty of alfalfa for him. Ah, oh, but we want best quality, was it? No, but it's better than nothing, George. Well, oh, that's true. Anyway, go on, get sorted and get on with you. All right, then, mate, I'll get now. All right, and don't bother me anyway. I've had enough of you today. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Why are bloody chewing it? Right? I've had enough of you. Go on, go, get off and give me some bloody peace and quiet. I should be having that second meat delivery soon, so... Ah, as soon as I've done that, I'm going to sit in. I might have me bloody afternoon brew and then a nap. Back to normal then, eh, George? Bloody back to normal. I'll have you know that... I'll have you know I've done loads. Absolutely loads. It's time for you to pull your finger out and match me. <laughs> All right, then. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. He's off his head. Off his head. <sighs> match him. Bloody hell, if I matched him, I'd be doing a donut run every day. And I'd be having plenty of naps. I don't get a chance to have a nap. There's no way in hell. Anyway, let's crack on with this. Hopefully this'll... Uh... Yeah, hopefully this won't take too long. Do you know what? I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the track through the field down. I'll have a look at the fields on the way. Carves look happy enough, yeah. Ah, oh, at least all them jobs are done. I mean, the mil getting rid of that slurry and that manure is going to be a pain. It really is. I mean, we can put up like a load, but only a thin load. We can't put too much on this field. We want to do the final top up with a bit of actual solid fur, probably. Or even liquid fur, anything really, apart from more, because we can't put too much of that on. But we'll get another spray on. Definitely. We could always put it on this field here, but I'm worried that's had too much. And then, you know, the cows are going to be out within about three months, aren't they, going and grazing on it. So we don't want to do too much on that either. I think the best bet is put it on the two barley fields you've already planted into. I think George agrees, so, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, let's get this field done. For Keith, it's probably going to take a bit of time. It's a big field in comparison to what we've done. Hey, it looks like he's had a new gate. Is it? Oh, bloody hell, well done, Keith. It bloody is actually set up right this time. Good on him. And it looks like I've got more space to get in now as well, so that helps. Make a start, eh?
please don't be George giving me another job. Please. Hello? You alright? Hey, Jerry, you alright? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Anything I can help you with? Whoa. I haven't heard off you in a while. No, I know. I've, uh, I've been super busy, mate. Well, are you still interested in that field? Um, no, I, oh, mate, I, I, oh, yeah, I didn't actually speak to you about it, did I? No, I decided against it. I've just got so much work at George's that, yeah, I just, it, it just wasn't going to work out. Didn't have the time for it, mate. All right, no problem, no problem. How are you anyway? Uh, I'm all right, not doing too bad. Oh, yeah, how's the build getting along? Build slowed down to be honest. Oh, well, why is that then? Well, buddy, I had uh, planning permission rejected. You did? What for? Well, I don't know, buddy. I'll try my best. Tried twice now. Every time been rejected. Damn, I'll fire. It's funny you should say that because George is trying to do the same right now. And he's, uh, yeah, I think he's still waiting on his. To him. Bloody hell, it seems like they don't want any work done round here. I'm trying to keep the area the way it is, I guess. Bloody hell, mate. Well, good luck with that anyway. Um, if you need any work later on in the year, I'm a bit busy now, but give me a, give me a shout. Oh, I should be up for earning a bit more cash later on again. Okay, yep, yeah, no worries, Scroff. See you later. See you, Jerry. Bloody hell. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Exact same thing. Bloody George is trying to get planning permission now. Mate, I should probably I should probably tell George about that. Anyway, job done. I mean what a bloody job that was. That took a long time, but we got through it in the end. And I think we've done it in good time. Sun's not far off coming down. Anyway, let's get back, speak to George and I'll see what's going on. What did he say? Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Bloody hell, maybe, maybe George should be a shepherd. <laughs> Girls are still happy. Bloody hell, got to stop looking at that. Every time it's worrying me. Come out the way, don't come out the way. Look at the sky, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, we'll leave this here because we're going to probably have to take all this stuff back. But yeah, let's go speak to George. Oh man, look at that. Don't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> Perfect view for the end of the day. Bloody hell. Right. Great, right, George. Oh, really? I didn't think I'd see you back here. Well, I just thought I'd stop by. Oh, well, I've been right. Yeah, perfect, mate. Did you get it done? Got it done. Got it all done. Bloody hell. Well done, mate. Cheers, George. I mean, I'm glad it's ticked off the list. That was a fair job, that was. And it was probably the, the one that I wasn't looking forward to the most just because I knew how much time it was going to take. But it's done now. It's done now. I'll find out what Keith wants to do with that field, what he wants to plant in, and let me know. I oh, will do. I oh, will do. It's probably going to be maize from what he first said, so if it is, you want to be planting in any time soon. Ah, fair play. Well, I've got my field, two yours, to plant that barley in, so plenty of planting coming around the corner, eh? Well, that's it. Are you done now for a date? I'm done. I'm done. I'll have this brew, and then I'll head back. All right, and buddy. Great, right. well done today. You've done a lot. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Well, that's what happens when you get gallivanting around, isn't it? Doing nothing. Make up for it. <laughs> I wouldn't call it that, Judge. <laughs> I had two days off. Two days, that's it. Bloody hell. And weren't them two days luxury? <laughs> Fair play.
Hey, you wouldn't guess who called me? No, I wouldn't guess. I wouldn't even try guess. How am I going to know who's called you? <laughs> Normally people say, who? All right then, who called you? God, Jerry called me. What the hell do I care about that? What, what's that got to do with me? <laughs> well, <laughs> he's he was asking me about that field that I wanted to buy and I told him I didn't want to do it anymore. But the thing that made the thing that interested me is I asked him how he's getting on with that farm build. And what? And he said that he's had planning permission rejected twice. Was he? Who do you know? I I haven't heard back yet, and normally normally I've heard back by now. Well, he said and this was his words, seems like they don't want to do any work around here, trying to keep, you know, keep the area as it is. So I just thought I'd let you know. Bloody hell, you know who that is, don't you? Buddy Tim. I guarantee you, Tim. Well, if you come parish councillor... No, it doesn't work like that, this Croft, is it? That's bloody conflict of interest in all that malarkey. If I bloody become parish councillor and give myself plan permission that's been rejected, how's that going to look? Oh, the hell, be in some kind of bloody scandal. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say to that, George. There's got to be some perks that come with it, eh? Well, bloody hell, not that. Well, anyway, I'm not bothered. I know I spoke to the architect that's, been, that's helped me design it for this farm, and he says there shouldn't be any bloody problem. So if there is, we know it's bloody Tim, and I'll make a formal complaint. I'll write another bloody letter to the council, and even if I'm on it or not, so you're potentially going to write a letter to yourself? No, no, I'll write it some other bloody plonker there. I don't know, he can't be doing that, can he? This, I'm going to have to ring this Jerry guy, I am, and find out what's going on. Because if I get a letter back, I tell you now, if I get a letter back and it's rejected, I'll speak to that architect, I'll ask him what he thinks, I'll speak to Jerry, and we'll bloody put a case against him. I'm telling you, he's got it out for farmers, he has. There's something wrong with that bloody Tim. I don't know what his problem is, but he's taking it out on hard-working, honest folk, and it's bloody out of order. Well, if he does, if he does come back and that's the case, then, yeah, I agree with you. Well, bloody hell. See, you've put me in a bad mood now. Well, I thought I'd tell you, you'd want no, wouldn't you? Anyway, have that brew and bugger off. I was enjoying the peace and quiet. All right, then. <laughs>